Hello boys and girls. In this video I'm going to be talking about the YouTube Next Up contest of 2018 and why I will not be applying for it, even though my YouTube channel is eligible. Queries of the Interweb So what is the YouTube Next Up contest? Well, I'm glad you asked. This past week, I got an email from YouTube inviting me to apply for it. Let's go through that email. As you can see here, this is the email I got. It says, Queries of the Interweb, enter Next Up 2018. We're looking for passionate, motivated YouTube creators to join us for two special editions of Next Up in New York and LA. If you're interested in programs to support black or Latino viewers or creators, we encourage you to apply. Come join us fall 2018, enter now. If selected, you'll learn how to build a rock star channel, meet and collaborate with other fast rising creators, sharpen your production skills and receive $1,000 voucher for production equipment. Wow, this sounds awesome. So from what I understand about YouTube Next Up, it's a program done at Annually by YouTube they've been doing it for several years now I'm not exactly sure how long but it's a program where up-and-coming youtubers get to enter into a contest and if they qualify they get to go to a YouTube space meet other creators and they get money towards better equipment for their YouTube channel now it sounds like it could be a great program for somebody who's serious about building a channel on YouTube now in order to qualify for the YouTube next up contest your channel has to meet certain criteria you have to have at least 10,000 subscribers you have to have uploaded at least three videos in the last 90 days you have to have a monetized channel and your YouTube channel has to be in good standing now I meet all those requirements but I still don't want to apply and I'm gonna tell you why I was considering applying for it but after I saw the application process I, I really I realized that this that this program wasn't for me we're gonna be walking through the application process of the YouTube next up contest for this year and we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about we're, we're, we're gonna be talking about some stuff okay so I am on the application page for the YouTube next up contest you could apply to different locations but specifically I'm gonna be looking at the New York contest each application the questions are slightly different but they're pretty much the same hashtag YouTube black as you can see because it's focusing on black people and I'm gonna be sharing with you why I, I take issue with that as someone who you know is black I guess here's the application you have a sign up form you put your name first name last name email URL channel for your YouTube channel you agree to some crap basically just there you, you put in your information and then uh, there's a couple essay questions that you have to answer let's look at the first question shall we why is it important for black voices to be represented on YouTube. I really hate this question. I, I don't know what that means. What, what do you mean black voices represented on YouTube? Are, are there a, a shortage of black people on YouTube? Is there some sort of force that's stopping black people from turning on a camera, recording a video and uploading it to YouTube and making content that people enjoy? Do black people need special treatment to be successful on YouTube? Or that, do they not have the same talent, the same drive as other people? I'm not a black YouTuber, okay? I'm a YouTuber who happens to be black, okay? And if people like my content, that's why I want them to subscribe to me. I don't want them subscribing to me because I'm black or because it's important for them to represent black people. Okay, don't promote me because I'm black. Don't share my YouTube channel because, hey, it's a black guy trying to make it on YouTube. If you like my content, that's why you should be subscribed. Okay, my blackness isn't what gives my videos value. What gives my videos value is because I put a lot of work into them. I think about the content that I'm creating and I try to appeal to an audience that's gonna like my work. I don't care what race you are if you're watching my videos. Okay, don't, I'm not begging to be put on the cover of the YouTube diversity brochure just because I think it'll somehow help my career as a YouTuber. I don't want to be known as the guy who made it because he was black. I want to be known as the guy who made it because he had good content. I don't think that there's any glass ceiling that needs to be broken in order for black people to finally make it on YouTube. There's plenty of black YouTubers on YouTube who are successful. Okay, this is your platform, YouTube. It's always been available for black people to, to be successful on, right? Unless, of course, there's something deep, dark secret you're not telling us. Okay, let's look at the second question. How do you think of yourself as a role model for the black community 
on YouTube? Again, I hate this question. I don't see myself as a role model for the black community, okay? We are not all one collective group. Think of people. We are individuals with individual taste, individual content. I am not looking to be someone who other black YouTubers want to imitate. I, what does it mean, role model for the black community? I, I'm, I'm one guy. Okay, I don't know who all is out there in the black community. I'm not trying to appeal to black people with my content just because I'm a black dude. Like, hey, other black dudes, subscribe. Like, no, I don't care what race you are if you like my videos. Okay, now if you're a YouTuber, like if you specific, if your target audience is young black men, and you know, that, that, that's fine, okay? That, that's a different story, but that's a very specific um, type of channel. Okay, most black people out there, I, I'm guessing, this is just my opinion, I don't, I don't think most black people out there are making videos about what it's like to be black. I think we just wanna create content that people like and that people wanna watch. I don't care what race you are, I'm not trying to be a role model for black people. This is, I, I don't like the identity politics of, of this contest entry. Okay, why are we making this about race? Why can't, why can't your creativity, right, what you create be the sole driving force behind your your content why do we have to be asking you to be if you think you're a role model for black people or if black people are equally represented i, I just think I, I i'm just gonna end it at that i could i could rant for like 20 minutes on that let's go to the last question here why are you entering the youtube next up contest and what makes your channel stand out from the others of the same kind i'm not entering the youtube next up contest and uh, I stand out because, well, I'm not trying to make this about my race. I'm not trying to be a YouTuber who sees their race as the primary reason why people need to subscribe to them. If you want to run a channel about activism or some cause you care about, that's fine. But your race shouldn't matter. You should be trying to help people. You should be trying to entertain people. You should be trying to create content that people want to watch because it's good. Because you get up in the morning and you put in the work. All right, it's a, it's a hard work being a YouTuber. It's hard work making good videos that people want to watch. And I don't think black people need some sort of, you know, nudge or support, you know, because we're not capable of starting from the bottom and, and, and building a successful channel just like everybody else. Being a YouTuber is hard. There's hundreds of hours being uploaded to YouTube every single minute, all right? And, and YouTube knows this. And most people who are YouTubers know this. It's tough being a YouTuber no matter what race you are. And your work ethic, your creativity, those are the things that are gonna help you make it as a YouTuber. I'm sorry, your race is not enough. Your gender is not enough, okay? It's your creativity and your drive. People will subscribe to your content because it's good, not because of the color of your skin or because what's between your legs, but because you have quality content. I'm just gonna say, what do you guys think? Do you think that your race or your gender should play a part in whether or not you make it on YouTube? Do you think YouTube should be focusing on race and gender for this YouTube Next Up contest and asking people to be role models for the black community or if they think they are? Or do you think that it should purely just be about your ability to take an idea and put it into a video and build an audience through hard work? What do you guys think about this? These are just my opinions. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. It's a different kind of video than what I usually make, but I had it on my mind and I wanted to share. Thanks for being subscribed to those of you who are subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it classy. Thank you.